Hi, Jamie here. I wanted to make a video today about um, kind of a, a continuation of my last video uh, where I discovered, when I discovered that 9-11 was the conspiracy theorists were right about 9-11. And if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely check it out because this is more of a continuation of that one. And I'll put the link in the down thing. So, but I wanted to share a few things that I saw in that two day period. So I wasn't gonna share the things that I saw. In my last video, I talked more about like just how it was an illusion and how there was a they behind it, which I certainly did see. But I just never thought I would be talking about some of the other things that I saw, but I feel really drawn to do it. Um, this channel will never be about conspiracy theories. I love them. Like I'm now way into it. I'm like, where have I been? <laughs> like it's just so for me. But um, this channel is about altered states. And so that's why I think this story is really important because people say altered states are going to like change the world and, or like they're going to save the world, you know, or whatever. Either way, I actually think they're, they're right, but I never really understood how. Um, I still think that it is the, it, there's an answer there to altered states, to altering our state along all, the whole spectrum. And that, that the work is very important in that way. So I will share with you my three things that I saw on the, the, during the two day stint of being shoved into an altered state by the realization that 9-11 was, was a, is a conspiracy. Um, and it was a very difficult two days for those of you, <coughs> excuse me, that didn't watch the other video. It was a very hard thing to deal with. Because my journey started when I first heard like Dolores Cannon talk about volunteers coming to earth. That was so incredibly like mind blowing. All of my experiences have all been about like just taking in information that I would normally not have like done, you know, if, oh, that's crazy. Like just kind of like suspending disbelief, you know, I think that's important to just sort of suspend disbelief for a while and kind of sit in there and think like, okay, it could be possible. That's really where all my mind blowing experiences have come from. Um, so anyways, but I always thought to myself, what exactly are these volunteers doing? I mean, as much as that really rang true to me, what's going on? Like, what's the big problem? I mean, obviously the world has problems, but what's the big problem? And so I think for me, these things are closer to what's going on. So anyways, without further ado, da, 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 the crazy things that I saw on those two days. The first one is the craziest one. I'm going to get out of the way. <laughs> The first one is, is like in all sincerity, that entire time that I was in this state, it was very apparent that the sky was manufactured. And I say that wholeheartedly because it was just so blatantly obvious. I would look at the sky and it would look really fake. And then I would look at like a tree or like bushes and like mountain, like we don't have any mountains, but like, you know, down here on the earth and everything else was very real, the same. But the sky looked very, very manufactured and fake. <laughs> um, I have no clue what that means. Um, and I don't see it that way anymore, thank God, um, because it was really scary. And it's one of the main reasons why I had to constantly tell myself to breathe. Keep breathing, Jamie. It's going to be okay. You'll get through this. Um, so thankfully, I don't see that way anymore. But that is the first one. That's the biggest one. It was really intense. Um, number two, <laughs> just to jump right in, the second thing I saw was symbols in the world would start coming forward to me. Um, so I would be driving and I would see like a bumper sticker and like a symbol would come up and like it would kind of glow almost. It's hard to explain, but it was just like it would be shoved in my face like, you know, you'd see all this, but this is what's important right there. And this happened like maybe 10 or 12 times where I would see these things and one symbol in particular, I would see it and then, and I would say, what is that? Like, I've never even seen that symbol before. And then I would just think, okay, well, whatever. And then I would move on and then I'd see it again, like on a wall or on a building. I'd see the same symbol come forward. And by the third time when I saw it, it like shoved, it was shoved in my face and it was glowing and I thought, what is that? You know, I'm going to go find out what that one is because some of the other ones, 
I sort of like, you know, whatever, but that one was really blatant and obvious. So, and it was a giant G with like a triangle around it. I'm like, what is that? So like I Googled G symbol, triangle, what is the, you know, whatever. And it's the Freemason symbol. <laughs> and lo and behold, conspiracy theorists, I guess I'm the only one that like didn't know this, <laughs> have talked about this group of people as being a part of the problem, right? And I'm not saying that like all of them are, I'm not saying that any of them are, I'm just saying what I experienced in an altered state. There's just no way that I could have manufactured or brought that information forward. To me, that was like, wow, I can't believe that. Um, you know, in my heart, I really feel like that on some level that is accurate information that the, that this group of, of conspiracy theorists are talking about. So that was really eye opening. And I had a few more like that. I'm not going to talk about them here because some of them are really out there, but anyways, there you go. And the last thing that I wanted to share about these two days regarding altered states was this realization the entire time that I was able to get answers from things that it didn't matter really what I was looking at. It just mattered what I was asking. And it's interesting because it's the exact same way that I've been working with my hypnagogic imagery. It's like this idea that the, the, con the, the subject doesn't matter, it's really the observer. And so for me, it was this really, really incredible experience to be able to have answers come forward no matter what the sub, like whatever the subject of the other of the object was, and I could I couldn't believe that I was doing it, um, and I just thought how is that possible? But I've been working with my hypnagogic imagery since then, and damn if it's not true, at least for me, and it really reminds me a lot of quantum mechanics and like quantum physics actually, and this idea of like that the observer really plays a role in like the communication between the object and the observer and like how if you look at a light wave, it acts like a wave, but once you look at it, it acts like a particle. Um, that became very obvious, you know, very obvious that when you're, and I believe that what I was doing was when you're in an altered state, you have that effect on the information. Um, I certainly don't have all the answers to that. But now when I work with my imagery, my hypnagogic imagery, it's, it's like way more powerful because I have that realization that no matter what image comes up, I know it's going to give me what I need. Um, and then my trust level goes up and my trust in myself goes up and then it's like, okay. So that one might be far-fetched for people in terms of like, and kind of vague, but I, I, I just thought it was an interesting point, especially for those of us that do this kind of work. So take that as you will. Um, so that's it. Those are, the, those are the big things that I saw in my altered state day, two day thing. And I'm really grateful that I don't see things like that anymore. Um, it still shakes me a little bit. Um, I certainly don't understand all of it, but I'm grateful to share it with you. Every time I make a video, especially these last few, I have to sit on top of my hands to be able to let it upload because everything in my gut tells me to stop uploading it and just, just go into a cave and not share anything. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.